Hi, my name is Pranav Ganeshran, and this is my mobile learning guide. Here are the main focus points of my guide. Affordability is our ability to purchase a product, and affordances dictate the capabilities of that product. How affordable a product is usually indicates its affordance, or what it can do. As we can see in the images, more smartphones are being shipped and are outselling utility and basic phones. This could be because of a drop in the prices of mobile technology. People are shifting from owning one device to owning a mix of different interconnected mobile and non-mobile devices of varying affordances. This is called a digital ecosystem. This is common in high affordability developed worlds like Australia. In developed countries, the cost of owning a mobile is less than in some developing nations. In developed worlds, it can be less than 1% of income, whereas up to 50% in the developing worlds such as Congo. Most Australians now have internet at home and own multiple devices, but smartphones are the dominant device. Human biology requires devices of higher affordance, hence they are less affordable. Our developed world context of Australia allows for this. These are the learning styles we will be focusing on for human biology students. Information transmission involves passing information from one source of fixed knowledge to another source thought of as an empty vessel with no prior knowledge. It is fast suiting human biology study where there is lots of content to remember and not enough time to collaborate and create knowledge on our own. It is mostly about learning previously created information. Ebooks are like digital paper books. Simple ebooks may just be PDF documents, but some can contain multimedia content and web links for students to expand their learning. Here are some advantages why human biology students would want to learn with ebooks. Behaviorism says students learn passively through positive and negative conditioning in order to change our behaviors, such as through repetition. This is useful for all the anatomical terms and structures we need to memorize, and behaviorism is optimal for learning easily memorized content. Anki flashcards uses spaced repetition and virtual flashcards to help drill in terminology and information. Spaced repetition helps with long-term retention of knowledge and shows improvements in memory. It's also a universal app so you can learn anywhere and anytime on all devices, something we call ubiquitous learning. Situated learning says knowledge is learned within a context in which the learning will be used. An example is learning organ structures in human biology labs or another clinical setting. Situated learning engages us in the learning, encourages social learning, and learning becomes more applicable to the real-world settings which is important in hum human biology, as all learned theory has to be applied to real people. Quick response codes are scanned like normal barcodes through smartphone cameras. A way they can be used is sticking them onto anatomy models that redirect to web links containing further multimedia and information to advance our learning. Here are some reasons why QR codes would be good to use in human biology study. Augmented reality overlays digital information over a real world view. Anatomy 4D puts interactive models on top of printed images and is an engaging way to learn in laboratory environments alongside real samples. Seeing the models expands our understanding of theoretical structures and concepts but requires high affordance to mobile devices. Embodied learning states learning happens through physical actions and applying our senses. It is engaging and shows the application of the theory we learn through other styles such as information transmission. Learning and application are done simultaneously and leaves longer memories due to muscle memory and linking learning to movement. Simulations are embodied learning tools combined with virtual reality to add realism for students practicing coordination and movements for life surgery. Real cadavers are expensive and don't allow for repeated learning, unlike simulation. Here is some feedback from my peers. This presentation is a result of changes from the picture shown after receiving feedback. Here are the references I use for my mobile guide.